Hello everyone, this is Jason with For Geek Sakes, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up the single number reach feature in Call Manager. A very useful, handy tool. It allows multiple phones to ring by downloading a single extension. Um, the first thing we need to do is associate end user. So what we need to do is go to user management, end user, and you want to find the user that you're trying to associate an a remote destination profile with. and there he is so you're gonna click on it go inside of the properties now what we're looking for is the enable mobility checkbox and it can be found under the mobility information and there it is right there guys so you hit save the next thing we need to do is create the remote destination profile so you go to device device setting remote destination profile now as you see here I already have a user created called test I could cheat and make it quicker by just doing a copy feature and it'll bring over uh, the majority of the um, options and all we have to do is just pretty much change the name to make it unique and hit save and it's done but we're gonna assume that everybody's a beginner here and we're gonna start from scratch so we need to go to add new create a name Alright, and then we're going to pick the user ID that we enable the mobility with. So, in some cases, you can just hit the drop down to find them, but if you have an organization that has a lot of people, the best practice is just to go over to the find button because it will automatically populate the last um, search that you did under the end user. So, this is our guy right here. We're going to do add selected. It automatically puts them in the field here. Next thing we need to do is select a device pool, and the device pool pretty much just groups phones and like devices together. Calling search space gives them permissions to to make phone calls um, whether it be uh, internal or external you need to have a call in search space and in the case of the single number reach you need to have the rerouting calling search space field selected as well this pretty much is what gives call manager permission to make internal outgoing calls and in our cases it's calling the cell phone so it's giving it, giving it permission to reach the PSTN okay. And green with long distance will do it. All right, we're gonna hit save here, guys, and it automatically takes us to the remote destination profile configuration page. Here, you need to associate an extension with the remote destination profile. So, when caller A calls caller B's desk phone, this is where the number needs to go. So, in our case, it's gonna be 4919. Now you need to have a route partition. The route partition pretty much says what can call what inside of your call manager environment. So I already have one credit called test. We're going to hit save. And that's really all we need to do here. Um, once you get here, it's just like you're doing an extension. So you can do the voicemail, call for an option, and all those things. But for this lab, this is the only thing we need to do to make a successful test. So we could go back to the remote destination profile by doing device, device settings. But here's a quicker way. Just look over here to the related links. Most times, Cisco already going to put the next step in this go feature and that just makes it a lot easier a lot more convenient for you to get back to where you need to go and like you see it took us right back to the remote destination profile configuration setup so the next thing we need to do is add the cell phone in which the remote destination will be reaching so you go down here to add new remote destination give it a name and this is the number. All right, so if you if you have to dial nine to make a phone call to reach the PSTN, then you need to put it here too. If you just put the cell phone number here without putting a nine if needed, it will not work. So we're gonna do a nine. My cell phone number there. And with the an answer too soon timer, answer too late timer, and the delay before ring time, this pretty much need to be tweaked. Um, to fit your needs uh, because sometimes some organizations don't want the voicemail of the cell phone to pick up it wants it to go back to the unity voicemail box so this is where you need to te tweak the times to, to ring the delay in the ring to make it fit your organization's needs but for mine 
I know exactly what it is because I've done this a, a couple times. And another thing is you don't want to stretch it out too far because it could cause the system to hang up. I mean, but like I said, you just mess around with it and, and it shouldn't be a big issue. And it is done in milliseconds. The next thing to do is the enable mobility connect. You need to check that box. And down here you'll see a schedule. If you are the type of person that wants your phone call to ring 24-7, if you're the on-call guy, if you're the go-to guy, you might just want to leave this blank because as soon as somebody dials your extension, it's going to hit your cell phone no matter what time of the day, 3 o'clock in the morning, whatever. But if you are an 8 to 5 type of person, you need to do this schedule because if you don't, like I said, your phone will ring anytime someone calls your desk phone. Alright, so in this lab, we're just going to leave this part blank. And it's going to hit save. And it's pretty much just letting you know enable mobility is set up. We're just going to hit OK. It's going to take us back to the remote destination configuration page. We need to associate the extension, which is this, to the cell phone, which is this. And checking that box pretty much bridges these two. And we're going to hit OK again. Save, I'm sorry. And hit OK. All right, and, and we're done. So the next thing we need to do is test it. And this is my IP communicator. I already have it set up with the extension 4919. And I'm going to take another phone and place a call to that desk phone. And you should see it start ringing. There it is. It's ringing now. And in a couple seconds, you'll hear my cell phone ring. Okay. And that completed, guys. And that's all there is to it. Now, I have a eBay item that you guys could purchase to kind of set this same lab up yourself. Um, very simple, very easy. It's a VMware. You do need to have a EXI compatible server um, to set these up, but it gives you a list of unified communication applications and very good if you're going out for your CCNA voice and CCMP. Um, like I said, you get two two call managers, the publisher, subscriber, the Unity Connection, the Unified Presence, the Contact Center, and it gives you Microsoft Office 2008 so you can set up AD accounts so you can do AD integration within Unity, um, Contact Center, and all those. So it's very handy, very useful. It's $100. Um, definitely not begging you to get this, but you know if you guys want to further your hands-on experience and you don't have the means to do it, any other way this would be a great way to do it the labs are, are awesome I've I've used them I've used this for a very long time now I just thought while I did these YouTube videos I will offer this um, I'm gonna try to post videos it once a week at least um, I'll be taking questions and any any ideas that you guys would would like for me to do a video on I'll be happy to listen um, Please like, comment, and subscribe, guys. This is something new I'm trying, and I need your support. Thanks a lot.